Okay, so this is the uh, iMedia Screencast 2 adapter designed to turn any television into a HDMI display. So let's just take a look inside the box. Now, uh, we've got the little adapter here, which has got its little external antenna, something I quite like because it extends the range of it, keeps it away from the display. Pull off that cap there to reveal that HDMI connector there. So let's pop that down. Let's have a look under the case. Now for the UK market, you get a power adapter, which is just one of those power supplies with the USB connector out there to provide five volts at half an amp. Um, and more importantly, you get this little cable here. And this is the cable that I'm going to use. I much prefer using this cable to get it powered up. Now it is a cable that requires the uh, device to be powered up and the way it does that is it takes the power from the USB port. There we go. So let's just turn our television around. I'm using a nice little portable TV so that I can uh, turn it around easily. Let's just connect that in and never get around that way. Oh, he's done it again. And plugging in our little uh, uh, dongle. Just before I plug that in though, just note that little button there. We've got a little button, can you hear that? There we go, that's a very important button. I'll come back to that, switches it between various modes. So, there we go, plug that in, get that around the right way. And there we have power connected from the USB. I like doing it that way because when you switch your TV off, it switches the power off to your, your screencast adapter. So, now, let's <clears throat> grab the remote control, switch us on, normally, if you're connecting to the side connector, the HDMI on the side here, it's HDMI 3, but on this TV it's only got two HDMI ports, and so it's HDMI 2. So we just wait for that to boot up, powers up from that USB port on the back there. And you can see that when it boots up, it boots up for the first time in Miracast mode. Now that just happens to be the mode that I want to use it in because I'm going to use it with a Android 4.2 tablet, which is also supplied by us, but equally this dongle can be used with virtually any other smart media device, mobile phones and tablets included. So that little button, let me just show you that little button. I'm gonna click that. Now clicking it is not easy whilst it's plugged in in actual fact, certainly on this television. And there you can see it flicks between the two modes. Now it does only have two modes of operation, DLNA mode, or sometimes referred to as UPnP, and Miracast mode, which is a standard of the Wi-Fi Alliance, uh, which requires the device to have uh, Wi-Fi Direct. Now, Wi-Fi Direct means that when you switch on Wi-Fi on an Android device, it's automatically looking for those wireless displays. Now, I've printed some information off the internet here on what's compatible with Miracast. And we can see here, Miracast is compatible with a lot of devices which are Android 4.2 and also Microsoft Windows 8.1 and a few other devices down, down the line here. Um, but it should be noted that Miracast is a standard that has evolved from the Wi-Fi Alliance Therefore, it won't work over Ethernet. Don't expect anything to be working um, over Ethernet. This is Wi-Fi. So, let's take a look at our tablet. Now, this is a box standard Android tablet. It's from the iMedia range. It's running Android 4.2.1. So, we'll just let that boot up. Make black screen again. And let's go into settings and have a look what's going on. This is the way that we do it. We're connected to the internet. Now, this is absolutely vital. The whole system doesn't work unless you've got a connection to the internet. It relies on that router having DHCP enabled, which means it gives it IP addresses. So I've got it connected to, yeah, how convenient, home internet. And uh, so that's in my Wi-Fi settings. And if I scroll down here, display, and because I've got Wi-Fi enabled, you'll see that Wi-Fi display is already on. So let's go into that and let's search for displays. Now it should pick up that. And you can see it's picked up screencast 3940855, which is a unique number to that adapter there. I can now click that 
and it says connecting and what it's now doing is coming up on the display dispatching IP address it's making that initial connection that, like I say only works if you've got internet connectivity on this particular device and instantly what you get is a replication on this display of what's on here so let's surf around and have a look but before I do that let's just go into that icon there have a look I can change the name of it so I can call it lounge TV anything I like um, but I'm going to leave it exactly as it is there I'm going to click my home button and I'm going to open the browser let's have a look and see what we can do let's go off and uh, have a look I've just happened to have been to YouTube so I'm going to have a look around there close that browser down and we're looking at the mobile version let's just click that there request desktop site and let's just scroll down and let's just have a look at what we can do here let's just click on anything just click to movie trailer here now latency is the difference in time where the picture appears to change on the screen here compared to the tablet latency all depends on the speed of your router so here we're running a, uh, a 300 megabit router so your latency should be no greater than I would estimate something like 80 to 250 milliseconds so look here some claim zero latency but that's simply not the case and there we go now I can turn the volume up and volume is coming out of the television here so look there. most of the intelligence community doesn't believe he exists the ones that do call him the winter soldier he's a ghost you'll never find him Shield to protect people. You know, to build a better world sometimes means turning the old one down. And that makes enemies. Okay, and that gives you a really good example there with that YouTube how to get that connectivity using the Miracast standard. Now, in part two, I'm going to talk about how to connect using DLNA using iPhones, iPads, any device. The advantage with DLNA is that you can surf around on your tablet whilst you're displaying something else on your screen over here. But being it's a connectivity and a switch standard actually on the dongle here, we recommend that you choose the standard that you want. So stand by for part two.